So Apple regularly releases firmware updates for the AirPods, AirPods Pro and AirPods Max, but generally they provide limited information on how to initiate a software update. But that recently changed as Apple has updated their AirPods firmware support page with more specific instructions. Prior to this recent good change, Apple basically used to say firmware updates are delivered automatically while your AirPods are charging in Bluetooth range of your iPhone iPad or Mac that's connected to Wi-Fi, you can use your iPhone, iPad or Mac to check that your AirPods have the latest version which most people know how to do. Apple still has that same information up, but it's now accompanied by step-by-step -step instructions on how to force an update, including troubleshooting steps if your AirPods won't update. According to the new update, this is how you can update your AirPods firmware version. Step number one, make sure that your AirPods are in Bluetooth range of your iPhone, iPad or Mac that's connected to Wi-Fi, so iPhone, connected to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth is on, and the AirPods are now in close range. So this is step number one. Step number two, put your AirPods in their charging case and close the lid. If you have both pods out or just one pod out, they are saying, take the pods and then put them back in the case just like this, and then close the lid. Make sure they are relatively close to the iPhone, iPad or Mac that you are using to update your AirPods, of course. Step number three, Plug the charging cable into your charging case, then plug the other end of the charging cable into a USB charger or port. That means you take one end of a charging cable. This is a USB-C end because these are the USB-C AirPods Pro. If you have the Lightning, then you want to connect the Lightning end of your cable into your AirPods. And then this end of the cable goes and plugs into a wall mount charger. Or if you have a Mac, also, if you have an iPhone, you can take one USB-C end of this cable and plug it into your iPhone iPhone and then plug the other end into your AirPods and it will automatically begin to charge. Also, if you have an Apple MagSafe charger or Apple Pack charger, then you can also use the wireless charging method. I've tested it and it works. So according to this step that we just read, we want to make sure that our AirPods are plugged in and charging. So simply just do that. And then of course, the light indicator will tell you that they are charging. Step number four is to keep the lid of the charging case closed and wait at least 30 minutes for the firmware to update. This is a pretty simple step. Now, even though Apple mentions to wait at least 30 minutes, from my experience and testing that I've seen, this step actually takes about 15 to 20 minutes on average for me. I've covered a lot of AirPods updates videos and on average, it's about 15 to 20 minutes. But Apple says wait at least 30 minutes for the firmware to update. Step number five, open the lid of the charging case to connect your AirPods to your iPhone, iPad or Mac. Now, this is a pretty simple step since I'm demonstrating this using my iPhone. Obviously, I'm gonna bring my iPhone and my AirPods close just like this and open the case. And then once the connection has been established like this, we can move on to step number six, which says check the firmware version again. So I can close this and then if I go into my settings, if your AirPods are connected to your iPhone, iPad or Mac, they will pop up in the settings just like what you see here. So these are my AirPods Pro 2 that you see. If I click on this menu and then go all the way down, you can see the version that we have. If you click on it, you can see what's the version of the AirPods and the case version of build number right there. So currently the version I have is 7E67B and then the case version right here is 74.5.0. Right here you can see there's also a link for firmware details available support and if you click on that link it basically takes us to this page about AirPods firmware and you can see update your AirPods firmware. These are the step-by-step instructions that I've gone through. So update your AirPods 
or AirPods Pro firmware and those are the six steps that we've just highlighted. Apple says here, if you still have gone through the six steps that I highlighted and you still can't update your firmware, reset your AirPods and then try to update your firmware again. And then of course you can see if you have the AirPods Max, you have other instructions which are pretty much similar. So to update your AirPods Max, these are the steps that you are supposed to follow. And the different versions of AirPods that we have, you can see what they release and what they fix. So if you've gone through the six steps that are highlighted for the AirPods and AirPods Pro on how to update your firmware version or maybe if you have the AirPods Max and you've done these five steps and it didn't actually update the firmware and you are having issues, Apple says you can reset your AirPods and then try to update the firmware again. Now to reset the AirPods, it's actually pretty simple. Apple says put your AirPods in their charging case and close the lid and wait for about 30 seconds. Mine have been in their lid for more than that. So if I go into the Bluetooth right here and then go to my AirPods Pro 2 right here. I have to forget this device, which is also highlighted right there. So I'll click forget just right now, which is actually what it highlights here on the second step. So on an iPhone and or the iPad that's paired with your AirPods, go into settings. If your AirPods appear in the my device list, then you want to tap the forget and then confirm, which is what I've just done. And if your AirPods don't appear in the list, continue to the next step, which is actually what's highlighted here. And now the next step says, open the lid of your charging case. Boom, just like this. And now I'm just gonna close this. And then it says, depending on which AirPods you have, press the setup button on the back of your case or tap the front of the case. These ones that I have here are the AirPods Pro 2 USB-C. So they have the button at the back. And the cool thing about this is actually if you have the AirPods 1, 2, 3 or the AirPods Pro, there's actually a guide on how to do this. So it will say press and hold the setup button on the back of the case for about 15 seconds until the status light on the front of the case flashes amber and then white you can now reconnect your AirPods. And there's a small video here that's gonna tell you how to do that. So I'm going to press and hold this back button on my AirPods Pro until this light turns amber and I'll continue to hold until this light turns to white. So I'll press it just like this and then I'm gonna continue to hold it. So it flashed amber and now it's flashing white and you can see once it's now flashing white, I don't have to keep holding. I can let go of this button at the back. And now you can see it's flashed amber. Now it's flashing white. And that means that it's ready to pair. And you can see what it says here on the iPhone now. It, say, it doesn't say not your AirPods anymore. It says AirPods Pro. And now I can click where it says connect and boom. It made, a, it made a chime and the status light went to uh, green. And now it's telling me about the different things that I can do, media and core control. Uh, and now it's showing me the charging status of my AirPods Pro. And now I can click done. So that's how you reset your AirPods Pro. And yeah, keep in mind that the instructions are pretty much similar on how to reset your AirPods, whether it's one, two, three, four, or the Pro, or the AirPods 4. And then if you have other devices, of course, you know, that support certain features such as um, respond by moving your head during the setup process like this, you're going to see a pop up just like what I see right now. And if you had the if you have the AirPods Max, you can then reset your AirPods Max following this instructions that you see right here. I'm going to leave a link to this page in the description of this video and you can see how you can reset your AirPods Max and then once you know this light flashes a certain color and so on, you can repair. And once you've reset and then reconnected like what we've done, Apple says, then try to update your firmware again. So once we've done that, we can restart these six steps for the AirPods, AirPods Pro, or if you have the AirPods Max, once you've reset and reconnected, you can restart these five steps. So it's pretty simple. I like that Apple 
gave us more of a step-by-step -step guide you there isn't really a way that we can actually turn off automatic updates for these airports i wish you know they would give us a pretty similar way just like how we update our iphone go into settings general and then software update if you want you can update to it or update your iphone if you don't want the update you can actually switch it off and then you know you won't see the update but for the airports we don't have that level of control yet i hope apple adds it but for these airports that we've reset just out of curiosity you can see if we go into the info it actually didn't remove this uh, beta version that i'm testing which is 7667b with the case 74.5.0 so that's how you update your airports according to apple on how you can update the firmware version of your airports whether it's regular airports airports pro or the airports max if you like this video and found it helpful in a way leave a like and subscribe and uh pretty much it's pretty much the same steps as what we've been we've been doing before so just make sure they are connected charged and they will simply update my name is ben and i'll see you in the next video peace